Good morning, everyone. I'm Martin Wenzel. Welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today I'm taking oil filters from Lapaya, Latvia to Chisizin, Poland. Forgive any uh, mispronunciation there. Latvian and Polish are not my first language. A long journey. You can see how big it is on that map. We're just going to pull out here right away, 5 o'clock in the morning, Tuesday morning. This video will follow the whole day of Tuesday. We're going to be changing the format a little bit. And we're going to be headed through Latvia, then Lithuania, then Kalinsgrad, um, Oberst, part of Russia. The part of Russia that's split off from the rest of it. And then into Poland. There's little pigs or something in there sort of livestock all right so last time well, let's get out of the city first then I will go into my story so we're in Lipaya Latvia and I've gone in and I've put in all the highway signs I've noticed a few of the highways don't line up exactly what the, is really in real life and I was really impressed with all the signage, but I'm finding as I'm doing this that some of the highways are not accurate, 100% accurate, where they would be. There's some strange ones where the, and the E77, the European Road 77, is one that pops up in this episode, and it has a weird route, and I don't understand what's going on with it. Weird route. Route? Route? Driving through La Paya. Nice sleepy little town here. Alright, well I'm going to go into a little bit of current events in my life here. So last episode we talked about, or I talked about, uh, my little passport situation, Chinese visa situation. A little rundown on that. Again, for anyone who didn't watch last episode, my 10-year American passport is not about to expire. It expires in two years, but my I'm out of pages. And living in China, I need to have... A visa every year and over the last you know seven eight years that I've been living in China I've used up all the pages for those visas and stamps so um, I need the new visa by February 11th I need to get a new passport before then before I can get the visa and we have the government shutdown all that it's looking like I'm not gonna get the passport well good news everyone a few things I believe I mentioned this last episode, the Chinese visa office said we can get a temporary visa. Whoa, that's a little bit of a bump over those rails. I can get a temporary visa, but even better news, I just got the email today from the Shanghai consulate, the American consulate in Shanghai, that my passport is ready to pick up. And that took less than, or it took about a week, just a little bit over a week from the 17th to the 26th. So that is pretty amazing as we leave La Paya. That is pretty amazing that the uh, American government was able to get my passport processed, shipped, you know, the process sent in or the application sent in and then it processed, printed and shipped back to China in less than a week or just over a week with a government shutdown on Monday or over the weekend. So miracles sometimes do happen And so all I have to do is go to Shanghai. I'll probably do that this next week, pick up my passport, and then on the way back, we'll stop in Hangzhou, which is 
the city that we are, the jurisdiction we're under here. And, oh man, those were some nasty bumps there. Wow. Um, we'll go to Hangzhou and we'll get the Chinese visa or apply for the Chinese visa and be all set for the next year, 2018. So, good end to the story. Now I can just focus on uh, playing some Euro Truck Simulator, getting my iRacing videos out, and um, looking forward to the Chinese New Year. Have a few weeks off. Actually, have this weekend we've canceled classes because it's snowed here and people. A lot of icy roads, people, they don't salt the roads here because they don't know about that. And here we are entering Lithuania. So they aren't salting the roads, so the roads are probably pretty icy. And in my experience, Chinese drivers tend to drive well over the speed limit in inclement weather. Weather. Typically when the weather is... Uh, clear and sunny they drive a little bit over the speed limit and then when it gets rainy it seems like they go faster they get crazier and it snows crazier still icy and people are probably just slamming into each other out there so i haven't even gone out the last few days to even see what the conditions are like but we canceled classes my wife is also very sick with the cold and the fever and we are entering palanga lithuania Palanga, Palanga, something like that. Now this is a road, I think, I think this actually wouldn't be the A13. I think the A13 continues along with the E, well, actually, I don't know what highway they would be, but um, it, it doesn't actually go right here on this little crossroads. I think there should be a highway that splits off, but they haven't uh, modeled that in the game kind of goes around bypasses the town so I have it marked as a13 and then this is a13 a11 which isn't a hundred percent accurate but for the most part uh pro mods does a very good job of getting every almost every road pretty accurate to what it should be I do notice there are some places where it's completely the wrong direction where if you turn right at an intersection it shows the signs that should be really the left hand because the roads change up a lot in Europe. There's actually a lot of different roads. You have the European roads, which are the green signs with the E and then the number. And those roads will cover two lane highways, four lane highways, expressways, everything. And those are all across Europe. And then you have the national highways for each country. And right now I believe like these A highways are the national highways for Lithuania. Um, Latvia had the A highways, slightly different sign. Estonia had red signs, but just had the numbers. And a little bit later on, we will be getting on, I'm not sure if it's a provincial highway or just a lesser national road, but they have yellow signs, and that'll be the 141. So it's really interesting just learning all the different signages of these countries. We are right now, all of this again, completely modeled by pro mods Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania and uh, then Russia whoa this guy oh okay he's got a lane there but that was a little scary still have the winter mod on I believe last time it was snowing it was heavy I've turned off the heavy winter mod just to give us a little variation we don't have snow all over the road. We're going to be taking here the... Well, we're going to be getting off. Or actually, we're going to continue straight, but we're not going to be... Yeah, because if we stayed on there, it would have turned us to the left. And then we can go to the right here, and then that's going to be the A1 for Lithuania. But we're actually going to continue straight on south on the 141.
rapid slowdown there for this roundabout. That is the biggest trouble I have so far in Euro Truck Simulator. And I haven't had a clean episode yet, a clean trip yet, without hitting something, getting hit by somebody. I haven't had any troubles. I used to have troubles with the roundabouts. I haven't had any troubles running into anyone in the roundabouts lately, but those sneak up on you. There's not really a warning sign coming up like, hey, roundabout, slow down. Those speed limits just change on a dime. And you gotta be careful you don't get a ding for the fine. Now again, we're not running, or we're just running the vanilla economy, so we're not running a Klaas's hard economy mod, which would make the income realistic. So we can, we can afford to get damage and speeding tickets and stuff like that. It's not gonna hurt us as bad as in American Truck Simulator. See the sun coming up, it's about 7.30 now. Beautiful wintry sunrise as we enter the town of Pajai and I get hit with a speed violation. What the? There was no marked speed limit there. What? I don't understand how that happens. Um, I guess the only thing I could think of is that there is a sign when you first enter the country to tell you like certain signs mean certain speed limits probably. I think that must be what it is that when you enter a town the speed limit goes down to 50 so they don't even have to mark it if you see that town sign that means speed limit's now 50 kilometers oh that's a little frustrating again we can afford that 800 euro does not really put a dent into our um, bank account I'd be incredibly frustrated if that was uh, that happened to me in American truck simulator running the realistic uh, economy Right, we're gonna get on the E77, the European Road 77, and the A12, Lithuania A12. And we're gonna be crossing the river here. I believe this is gonna be the border with uh, with Russia. Actually, maybe a couple rivers. Here we are in Panamune. Panamune. But this is the border town with. Uh, the little Russian enclave of Kalingrad Oberst, if I'm not mistaken. It's a little, little section of Russia that's kind of got separated from the rest of it when the Soviet Union fell. I believe that's how it happened, is that Latvia and Belarus and Lithuania and Estonia all became their own countries. And this little section of Russia remained wanted to stay part of Russia, but was now separated and is an enclave, is what you would call it. So we cross another little river here, and now we are in Russia. Not main Russia, just a little part of Russia. Sovetsk. I think this, this town used to be called uh, Tiltsin what I read. Kaliningrad Oblast, that's what it is. And it used to be, before 1946, it was known as Tilsit in East Prussia. But then, and East Prussia itself was an enclave from the rest of uh, Germany after World War One, after the Great War, when uh, much of uh, Eastern Germany became Poland, and Polish were given the little, the little corridor to Danzig, or Gdansk, as it is now, Dance. Ooh, riding on the curb. That's just what you want to do. So this is. Sovetsk. 
in Kaliningrad Oblast, Russia. Alright, so we got 90 kilometers to Kaliningrad. And I think this is the end of the A216, and we will be going on to the A229. Oh no, not yet. That will be a little bit later. Okay, so we're gonna keep following. We are on the European Road 77 on the A216, leaving Bolshakovo. like a bleak landscape it's nice and wintry that's from Grimes's frosty winter mod last episode I believe we were still running the heavy mod for that where we had snow all over the road right now it's just a uh, it's not snowing no not a heavy snowfall the day before so no snow left on the road as we travel through Kaliningrad Oblast part of Russia that is split off from the main part of Russia in between Poland and Lithuania. All right, here we are coming up on I believe the E28, which is also the A Russian Highway A229. In the town of Talpaki. Talpaki. That's a big sign kind of blocking our view over there. And we have 57 kilometers to Kaliningrad.
right, here's a little bypass. I believe the, this is where the E28 and E77 get off and they will bypass Kaliningrad. We're gonna go in, discover this town, or discover, discover the city of Kaliningrad. Here we have Kaliningrad. They don't have it in the uh, uh, Roman alphabet. They just have it in the Cyrillic. And remember, this is all modeled by ProMods 2.25. This whole city. None of this is in the base map for Euro Truck Simulator 2. It's not part of Going East DLC. Going East, I believe, ends with Poland. And now I might be completely wrong, but I believe it ends with only Poland. I don't think it gets into Kaliningrad. Got some light rail in the road so we have to bump over. The bumps seem really, really big. Got a nice uh, canal system here and a beautiful church to our right. Yeah, not all the models are perfect. I mean, that kind of looks a little fake, but it gives it a little, like here you are, you're in a city. It's a big looking city. I wish there was a little bit more traffic. I don't know if that's just I don't have a good traffic mod on. It's 10.30 in the morning and there's it's pretty light in here. We're just driving through Kaliningrad. We'll then get back on with the E28 and the E20, E77. And I believe our next big stop or next big thing will be entering Poland. And once we're in Poland, I don't think we are going to go through any more towns until we get close to our destination. We are going to bypass Dansk, Dansk and every other big town along the way. The, the highways seem to bypass it. Here, we're going to get on back on the E77 and E28, which bypassed Kaliningrad. What's this car doing? Oh man, that guy's pulling out of the gas station. Let's try to get past this car. Oh crap, 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 crap. Ah, jeez. That one car was just looked like he was edging out of the gas station. And this truck is trying to merge over, over there too. That's annoying, but we didn't get any damage from it. All right, we're coming up on the the border and we have to go all the way over here through this little truck bypass or something I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a checkpoint where they check your truck that's why it's a little separate from the cars in any case we will be entering Poland our highway will switch to I believe it's the s22 and the S is for, in Poland, is for the divided highways. So it's going to be the more your four-lane highways. Those are S highways. And then they have A highways, which are kind of like, I, I assume are like more of the expressways, kind of like the Autobahn. And then you have just numbered highways, which are going to be your two-lane, you know, divide, you know, um, divided with just the lines down the middle, one lane going each way. So we are in Poland, the S22, the E28, E77, entering the European Union once again. 
I'm not sure if Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania were part of the European Union. I did see a European Union sign when we entered Lithuania, so I believe they are. But Russia is not. And so we were in that little enclave of Russia. And now we are headed into Poland. So here is where I think the E77 gets a little confusing. This interchange and this whole area around uh, Elblag, Elblag, however that's said. Because the E77 goes away, or it actually goes into Elblag, I believe, but then it shows up later from the south and continues up through the north duplexing and it's like I don't know how that works and actually the signage for this road is wrong I think so I think it says this is the 7 well the 7 is correct it's the S7 right now because it is an elevated expressway type road but I believe they they say on here they have it marked as the E77 but the E77 goes into Elblag and kind of just peters off there. So I don't know if it's duplexed here with the E28. Depends on the map you look at. Google Maps is kind of hit and miss with these roads. It sometimes shows the signal or the shields and sometimes it doesn't. And I've been looking at the Michelin map actually. And it seems to be a little bit more clear on which roads are what more consistent about showing the Polish highway name and the European highway name. Because some maps, and even in uh, Pro Mods, it will show the 7, it won't show the E28 or the E77. And then sometimes the E77 and the E28 will pop up again. When in reality they do overlap because the European road is kind of just a route, kind of like the, well no, it's not like the interstate system at all. It's just, it's just kind of like this is a, a road that goes cross country or cross continent. And I'm trying to think what it is similar to. It's, I was going to say it's similar to the network, but it isn't because the interstates are their own thing. Um, yeah, I'm really trying to think what it what would be like. Whoa. Here we are. We got nice fields with the hay bales in the snow. Now usually I play Euro Truck Simulator to get a lot of that green because this, um, American Truck Simulator is very brown, sand colored, southwest colored. Whereas uh, Euro Truck Simulator is very green. Lots of trees, lots of grass, lots of farms. And we still have some green. 
with the pine trees, with the evergreens, but it's covered in snow right now and it looks great. It looks wonderful. The game also seems to run a little bit smoother. Every time I jump into Euro Trick Simulator, it goes one way or the other. It's either smoother than American Truck or less smooth. And this time it seems like it's running smoother. So that's a pleasant surprise. All right, so you see now we're on the seven because we're down to a two lane highway.
right, it's about five o'clock and I'm looking for a place to stop. We're gonna stop in the next town if we can. And look at that beautiful sunset we're driving into. That is beautiful. Yeah, it's getting late. I don't want to drive too late because it just, it's hard to see. We have enough trouble navigating here in Europe with all the different roads and there's a lot more changing roads in Euro Truck Simulator than there are in American Truck Simulator. American Truck Simulator, you get on Interstate 40 and you're on 40 until you decide to get off and stop at a truck stop. Here, you're lots of turns. All right, we're in Novo, Novo Guard, Novo, Novo Guard. Butchering these Polish city names. And we're gonna pull in here to this um, truck place. It's interesting, it's got a little AT&T or something symbol on that. Uh, must be a strip mall of sorts. And they got some construction work, so we're gonna have to spin around here. We're gonna go park in this truck dealership. That'll let us rest. I do have fatigue simulation turned off. So I don't actually need to stop in a in a place that lets me rest, but I want to try to. I should turn it back on. I turned it off for. Um, I'm not sure why I turned it off, but it, it allows me to um, control my own sleeping patterns. And I usually I'm going to go to sleep here around five, or actually seven, and then get up at five in the morning. Okay, so we are in Novogard at this truck stop, and this is where we're gonna rest for the night. And we'll finish this job, just a short, probably two hours to get to Shishin. Shishin. Just butchering the name. Um, and we'll finish that in the morning, and then we'll get another job on Wednesday. So this is Tuesday evening, it's about five o'clock. Until next time, I'm Martin Wenzel, this is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Take care. Happy trucking.